Justin Smith and uh, located east of Fort Collins and we work at a business out of Loveland and uh, Valley Hill Roofing, name of the business. And we call it Valley Hill because we have property out east toward the flat country and we're up on a hill that's like several miles. The elevation is, you drop off no matter which way you go, but up on top where our, our piece of property is, is a little valley. And so we were wondering what to name our, our ranch one day, and he was like, the valley hill, we're up on the valley, up on the hill. And so we, valley hill roof. Oh man, I grew up in Mississippi and my dad was a farmer when I was born. And it, I don't know why he started wanting to do roofing, but he started roofing when we were, me and my twin were, before we were walking. And so that's all I grew up was, you know, get out of school and go hang out in the shop when the guys got home, and, cause it was all on the big yard, house and the shop together. And so then got out of school and I remember we were doing residential at the time and mom would pick us up from school and take us by the job and drop us off. And uh, if dad was there or the guy running the job would be like, well, we'll pick up all the trash. And so that's how we started, we picked up trash. And then it got to where, you know, we wanted to do something. We, wanted, we were shingling at the time, they wanted to shingle. So it's, well, then they told us if you get all those bundles towed out across the roof and you get that done and they're still, we're not done shingling, you can strap a belt on and start shingling. And so it went from there and then by the time I was 17, we, dad asked both of us, cause we were running the cruise together at, at that point, some of the time. And he, he says, well, he says, do you, what do we think? Should we, should we just quit residential and do just strictly commercial because that's we were doing both and we enjoyed commercial and residential we did it so much and so we're like yeah let's just do that so we started pushing commercial 100 percent and never looked back well i say we never looked back we did it we ended up doing some residential at times but uh, yeah I and mean, it's just a matter of trying to find those clients and trying to work with them and it's just, I, I enjoy the commercial and the residential and the So it's, uh, stakes are higher. You can make more money and you can lose more money. <laughs> and, you know, you, you're going to make mistakes. When you make a mistake, own it. Mm -hmm. You know, don't try to, don't try to realize that once you get in here, you realize that, you know, I priced this way too cheap, I'm gonna lose money. Don't try to just patch it. Do the right thing, mm. regardless. Do the right thing. Count it a lesson learned. If I say go slow, but I've had this motto where I fake it till you make it, man. Mm. <laughs> I, when we moved out here years ago, I jumped onto a tear off job that I, you know, Mississippi, we didn't tear off as much work. Yeah. They didn't enforce code, and we didn't do it. And I get out here, and it's like, you know, well, code is strict. You, you do what you have to do. And so we're going to start this job and it was like 1200 squares and I'm like, man, I've never tore off more than like 100 squares at a time, you know, and here we're fixing to do a 1200 squares, you know, I, I, I was confident I could handle it, so I did. But you have to somewhat, if you're confident, you have to take that approach that, you know, just because I haven't done this doesn't mean I can't do it, but it pays to have people you can rely on. They know the industry and you can call them like a good sales rep. Oh, meeting people and uh, knowing that that you gave somebody the best solution, not made the most money necessarily, but, but you're building build relationships. I just like building relationships. Well, God put me on this planet for a reason. I don't know what that is all the time, but I think uh, a person needs to have a smile on his face. Yeah. And you to do that, you've got to be genuine, you've got to be real. And sometimes life does get to you and 
for me, the problem can be to wear too many hats and you start feeling like you're not doing justice on all of them or any of them. So you start feeling a little bit depressed or that that's strong, but not depressed, but you're not on top of your mm -hmm. And so to, to live that way to where you can, I mean, for me, I've got to have my quiet time in the morning. I've got to do some exercise time. I've got to treat my wife like I want to be treated. Treat my kids to where when I come home from work, they open the door and they're, they want to see me. They want to know how my day was because I'm going to be interested in them. All that kind of stuff, just a just motivation to keep on keeping on.